So, I'm back and I'm a little bit more chilled than I was in my previous video. First things first, I want to apologise to all you people that commented on that video. I haven't even looked at the comments section, I have been mad busy and to be honest I was fucking seething so I sort of steered away from that and just kept myself to myself for the last few days. Um, but I'm a little bit more positive today and it is now on to the Europa League. We are playing Red Star Belgrade away on Thursday and to be honest, this is the only competition that we actually look half decent in. Um, obviously, Doncaster in the League Cup, we didn't look too great and obviously the league, we're fucking dog shit, especially away from home. So I am feeling a bit more optimistic about this game. We're going to see loads of changes in this game. Um, with Red Star Belgrade, I'm a little bit gutted I'm not going to the game, to be honest with you, because one thing's for sure, their fans are absolutely mad about football, and the atmosphere in that ground is going to be fantastic. So I'm a little bit disappointed I'm not going, but hey-ho, I can't go to them all. Um, <laughs> there it is, that's how it is. Um, what do we get with Red Star? We get their fans up for it, they've got a half-decent team, um, I must admit... I'm not too clued up on Serbian football, but they must be half sensible to even be in this competition in the first place. But with all that being said, I do expect us to win this game. And I really do think that we have a great chance to win this competition. The only thing that's stopping us winning this competition is our deluded fucking manager. But that's for another video. Now I'm gonna go on to my one to 11 for the game. Um, if you like the video, smash the like button, absolutely batter it. That always helps me along my way. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, where have you been? I've been here all season and the back end of last season. And I've got a shitload of content coming up in the future. Got a few things in the pipeline that are gonna, uh, yeah, they're gonna blow me up a little bit. So that's all good. Um, but yeah, my one to 11 is gonna be the 11 that I think Arsene Wenger will pick and not the one to 11 that I would pick. Obviously, as most of you who are subscribed to the channel know, I would do a lot of things differently to what Arsene Wenger does. But I ain't privileged enough to be in a position of power like that, and I definitely don't get paid £10 million a year to make them decisions. So, my goalkeeper for the game is going to be David Ospina. Um, fresh off at the back of his calamity the other day for his country, um, which ultimately cost Alexis Sanchez, ironically, and his country a place in the World Cup. So I bet that went down like a lead fucking balloon. So he's my goalkeeper for the game. I am going to stick with a three at the back. Now, people are probably going to look at that and think, Lee, you're mad. Um, we've got no defenders. We've got no centre-backs. They're all injured. Right, hear me out. Okay, I'm going to go with Hector Bellerin at right back. I think Hector Bellerin was arguably our best player at the weekend. And you can say he gave away a penalty and etc, etc. In the first half, he was him and Awobi were the only two, in my opinion, that actually looked like they were doing something, or at least trying to do something. Um, the penalty, I'm not going to fault him for that, because firstly, I don't think it was a penalty, but that's irrelevant. The referee gave it, and Bellerin also gave the referee a decision to make. Now, if Mesut Ozil had done his job properly and filled in the gap instead of pointing to Bellerin to go over there, then the penalty might not have happened anyway. So, he's off the hook. Left wing back. Now, Arsene Wenger's gone with Maitland-Niles in this competition so far, and I don't see that changing. He's not a left wing back. We all know that. He's a central midfielder. And in the second half against Cologne, he looked fantastic in the centre of midfield. Now, with that being said, against Borisov, he did play left wing back, and that was the best game he had had for Arsenal. So he is going to be playing left wing back, in my opinion. Centre backs, they're dropping like flies. Um, Koscielny, Chambers, Mustafi, they're all injured and we don't know when they're back. Callum Chambers has played half a game of football since the start of the season. Mustafi, apparently six to seven weeks, add another 10 weeks on top of that because this is Arsenal Football Club and they never come back when they're supposed to. Um, so my back three for the game, I am going with Pema Asaka. Um, if he can't contain 
Red Star Belgrade strikers, then he should retire today or, or Thursday as it is. Um, next to him, I'm going with Monreal. And next to him, I am going with Rob Holding. Now, Rob Holding should be full of confidence because in the last game in this competition, he scored a goal. And it was a good goal. And he also hit the post a few minutes later. So he should be full of beans going into this game. And I'm expecting big things from him in this match. On to midfield. I am going with Mohamed El Nenny, who didn't cover himself in glory at the weekend. But how many of them did? And next to him, I am going with Jack Wilshere. I think Jack would have been mightily pissed off that he didn't get on against Watford after being stripped and ready for action. Obviously, Koscielny then went down injured and we brought Rob Holding on. So I'm going with them two as my centre midfielders. Now, my two attacking midfielders. I am going with Iwobi. I think Iwobi, like I said a few minutes ago, I think he was probably our best player, him and Bellerin, against Watford. Before that, he scored a goal which killed the game against Brighton. And he's also in the middle of that scored a goal that qualified Nigeria for the World Cup. He should be flying. And he looked half decent at the weekend. So I fully expect him to start and I fully expect him to do really well. Now, alongside him, behind the striker, I am going with Theo Walcott. Now, you're probably all screaming, where's Alexi Sanchez? I'll come on to that in a minute. I'm going with Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott's a weird one for me because one week he looks fantastic and then the next six, he looks fucking dog shit. So let's hope that this week, he looks fantastic. Now, the main striker for this game, I am going with Olivier Giroud. We all remember that he scored his 100th goal for Arsenal, which is no mean feat. I've slagged him off. You've probably all slagged him off. But to score 100 goals for Arsenal is a fantastic achievement. And for 12 million quid, it's an absolute fucking bargain. Um, regardless of whether he went four months without a goal in the league or not, is irrelevant. 100 goals for Arsenal Football Club is a decent return for £12 million. Now, let's not get it twisted. He ain't my favourite player. <laughs> yeah, He's still a donkey and he's still a lamppost at times. But he scored his 100th goal in this competition um, against Borisov, or his 100th goal for Arsenal against Borisov. And he has looked semi-decent when he's played this season. He hit the bar against, I think it was Doncaster with an overhead bicycle kick. And yeah, I'm going with him up front. I expect a win. Um, I don't think it's going to be comfortable. I've seen a lot of people saying that we're going to blitz them and blah, 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 blah. That ain't going to happen. Like I said a few minutes ago, the atmosphere in that ground is going to be electric. They're absolutely mad. They're so passionate for football. And to them, it's probably like the... You know, like the cup final for them. Alexis Sanchez doesn't make the 11. I personally don't think he will get a game. I don't think he'll even come on in the game. I think that Arsene Wenger, um, he, he is looking at this and thinking, well, there's bigger fish to fry. Obviously, he wasn't in the squad at the weekend. And I can accept that because he didn't get back from Chile until late Friday. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at it thinking, would Arsene Wenger risk Alexis Sanchez getting an injury away in a game that we should win anyway. I don't think he will. And if you look at our fixtures that are coming up, we've got Man City in a few weeks, we've got Tottenham in a few weeks. So I don't think he's going to take that risk on Sanchez. But what do I know? My score prediction for the game, I am going with Red Star Belgrade 1, Arsenal 2. And I'm going to go with a Giroud first goal in that game. Now let me know what you guys think. Stick your comments down there. Subscribe if you're new and absolutely donkey punch the fuck out of the like button. Laters, peeps.